I'm going to break this uh, rock here with some cracking goo. I drilled it a few days ago with the uh, track rig actually. Uh, hole diameter is 42 mils. They're quite big deep holes. It's uh, quite a deep rock. It's resisted efforts to dig it out. And uh, Isaac doesn't really want to blast it because we've got to get a lot of dirt up here to cover it. And that's a bit difficult since we're working way down there. So uh, I was just tracking past, so I stuck some holes in it. We'll put some goo in it and see what that does. First of all, I'm going to clean out all the water because it's been raining for a week and it's probably full of slop. So I'll give that a shot first. Back on this pesky rock again that we're splitting with the cracking goo. Uh, about two thirds it'll be dug out. And one third's left. It's quite big, it sort of goes under the road I've found. That's why I didn't want to move. So just putting some more holes in it from the free face at a very low angle with the machine. And we'll fill them up with goo and uh, crack it across that way. Then it'll pull out. I'll show you around the other side. Here we go, that's what we've done. That should fix it up. Got me sticking the hole there to give me a sort of guide so I can see where I'm drilling. It's a bit hard to get the angle and position right when you can't see it. But uh, that'll do the job, I reckon. See you soon. Uh, good day everybody, today we're doing something a bit different, we're using a uh, cracking agent in near horizontal holes which is always a bit tricky because it doesn't fall in horizontal holes. So we're going to show you how to do it. We've got uh, some 38mm holes and 40mm uh, lay flat plastic tubing which has been uh, inserted into the hole. We're going to stick the funnel in there, we'll fill them up and it'll all be good. Hopefully. It's a bit tricky, but it can be done. Just got to make sure there's no twist in the uh, high flat tubing, so you don't go in the hole. Don't pour it too quickly.
Pop, pop, pop. goes back in the bucket for the next time. There's that. Ah, give it a day or two and see how that goes. Oop. A couple of days have passed and I've come back to have a look at this rock and well, what do you know, it's broken. Isn't that good? I knew it would. So we'll just pull it apart now.